Okay, in this tutorial demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to configure these routers to communicate in between their serial interfaces using PPP, point-to-point -point protocol, and CHAP. So they're going to um, use the CHAP to authenticate between the two routers. Now, right now, the way this has been configured is that this over here is the 10 network. The PC is 10.0.0.100. The router is 10.0.0.1 right here on this interface. And then this network over here, this local area network, this LAN, is the 172.16.0.0 network. And this PC is 172.16.0.100. Okay, you can see that. And then the interface here on this router, the Ethernet interface, is 172.16.0.1. Now, in between the two routers, we're going to use the 192.168.50 network, and I believe that this one will be 50.1, and this one is 50.2. So 192.168.50.1, 192.168.50.2. And the other configuration that I've set up is static routes. So this, route, this router has a static IP route to the 16 network over here, going out of its serial 2.0 interface. And then this router has a static route configured. You can see here IP route to the 10 network over here going out of its serial interface. So basically I've got essentially like two default routes, one going this way from this router and the other one going this way from that router. Right? So we're not using any routing protocols. We've just got some static routes configured. And we're just going to configure PPP and CHAP. Okay? So to start with, we'll open up router 1 and get this on screen. And I'm going to do a conf T here to get to global config mode. And the first thing I'm going to set up is a username for router 1 uh, for router 2. So router 2 can authenticate. So I'll say username R2 password Cisco. And okay, after I've done username R2 password Cisco, that looks good. I'm going to have to go into the interface, interface serial 2 slash 0. All right. Now I'm in that interface. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm in this interface right here. I'm going to set it to the encapsulation for the interface to be PPP. So I'll say encapsulation PPP. All right. And you can see here right away we get a message that the interface goes down instantly that we change that. The default encapsulation on the router is HDLC and now we've changed it to PPP and instantly everything goes down because we've got PPP encapsulated on this serial interface and HDLC on this one. So there's a mismatch so instantly the interface goes down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say PPP right and I'll put a question mark and then space in a question and you can see I can have the authentication so I'll say PPP authentication chap alright there we go and now that's done now what I'm gonna do is open up this router and I will do the same kind of configuration but just the opposite so I'll do control C here that takes me back to the privilege exec mode and now I'm going to do a conf T and now I need to put in username set up a username for R1 and password Cisco okay alright that sounds good now um, I've got that done I'm going to go into its interface serial 2 slash 0 okay there we go and now I'll say encapsulation PPP and then notice what happened there the interface just changed state to up right away and what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to say PPP auth tab completion authentication chap alright and so that's done at the end, what I can do is do a control C, copy, run, start. To save my configuration, hit enter at the startup config screen. 
and now we can try to ping from one side to the other to see if it works so I will open up this PC open up a command prompt and try to ping the other host at 172.16.0.100 so I try to ping across and I get a reply and so PPP is working um, this host this computer can communicate across to this computer and so PPP is working between these two serial interfaces